you have finally decided to start a business in school. You have settled on the idea of selling something to make a living. But the question that is bothering your mind is, what at all should you sell? Well, if this describes you or the situation in which you find yourself, then you want to watch this video to the end to learn how to settle on the perfect thing to sell in school in order to make a living. Hi, I am Ehonia Obed, co-founder and coordinating director of GH Student Wallet. As a team, we look forward to inspiring as many students and young people as possible to start their own businesses and manage them successfully. Do well to subscribe to this channel to learn how to build successful businesses and how to make a living on your own whilst in school. This is one of the commonest questions that we get on our platform. What at all can I sell in school to make a living? In this video, I've broken the answers down into three parts. In the first part, I'm going to answer the question, does what you choose to sell really matter? The second part, I will talk about how to settle on a perfect idea or the perfect thing to sell in school. Then finally, I'll give you some examples of things that you can sell in school. Let's move straight to the first part. So does what you decide to sell in school really matter? I think the answer is obvious. Yes, the answer is yes. What you choose to sell in school matters. If it did not matter, you would be wondering what to sell. Otherwise, you would just go and pick anything at all and sell. But what you choose to sell in school really matters. As an individual, you have what we refer to as your principles and values for your life. Your principles and values are things that will guide you to do what you consider to be right and also to adhere from the things that you consider to be wrong. So these principles and values that you have as an individual will inform you on what to choose to sell and what not to choose to sell. For instance, if you think that smoking, any kind of smoking, smoking of cigarettes is wrong, then I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't want to be selling out cigarettes to people because deep within you, your conscience wouldn't allow you. You are thinking, you know very well within you that it is wrong. So why at all are you selling it to people? Or why at all are you encouraging its sales? So your principles and values will guide you to choose what it is that you can sell and what you cannot sell. If you have no principles and values, then even before you start this business that you are thinking about, I entreat you to set down values for yourself, set down principles for yourself, and even for the business that you are getting into, know what is right, what is allowed, and what is not allowed. So as an individual, do what well to do this so that it will serve as check and balances throughout your entrepreneurship journey. Also, what you choose to sell will inform who you can sell to. Now that you are in school and you want to start a business by selling things, there are several categories of people on campus that you may decide to sell to. But what you are going to sell, what you choose to sell, is what will determine who you can sell to. So for instance, somebody may choose something that only the lecturers may be in need of. So such a person is only allowed to sell the things to the lecturers. You may also decide to sell something that only students are in need of. So if you decide that what I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell to the students, then you have to choose an item that a student will likely buy. Moreover, what you choose to sell will determine your profit margin. What I mean by your profit margin is how much money you can make from selling what you have decided to sell. Then also, it will determine how much money you need to start. So in terms of money, what you choose to sell will determine how much money you need to start and how much money you can make from that business. So you want to sit down and consider, now that you are wondering what to sell, look into it. There are so many things that you can sell, but come to the realization of how much money you are willing to start with or how much money you have on you to start the business with because that will inform what you can sell. If let's say you have less than 10 cities to start a business, 
then you may not want to be considering something that requires like thousand cities to start. Then also you have to consider how much money you are going to make from what you are selling. So if you are going to make, let's say, only 20 pesos per sale on something that you have to put in so much, you have to invest so much to get it done or get it sold, then you want to look at it. Is it worth it? If you feel that 20 pesos out of all those struggles is worth it, then you go ahead and start it. Otherwise, you always want to consider the efforts that you are going to put in to sell the thing, then how much you are going to make at the end of the day. If you note that it is worth it, then go for it. Now, how do you choose what to sell? Well, you can choose what to sell based on these two things. The first one being, you can choose to sell something that nobody is selling for, but people are in need of. Yes, whenever there is a demand, you can start a business out of it. So, there could be something that people are looking out for, but they are not getting. You, upon realization, decide to sell something like that. So, look around you. All the things that people are complaining about, what are they looking for that they are not getting, especially because they are in school. There could be that there are things that they need, even if it is in your class. There are things that your classmates need, but they are not getting. So, if that is a situation, then you can make provisions for it. For instance, if you are in a classroom that needs, let's say, drawing boards or drawing sheets, they need a paper to draw at a particular point in time, but nobody within the vicinity is selling those ones. So you identify that, okay, this is what my people need at this time. Hence, I want to make provision for it and make my business around it. So that is one of the ways you can decide to choose what to sell. On the other hand, you can decide to choose something that people are already selling, that's something that there is a market for already, but rather you make yours more affordable or easier to get or even faster to get. Once you present the same product but with these extra advantages, then you are sure to get a business out of it or you are sure to get people willing to pay for it. Especially because now you are considering on selling these things on campus. You know how busy students are. So if you can make it more convenient for them to get whatever products that you decide to sell, then you will make a good business. So go ahead and look around you. Consider whether you want to bring on something that no one is selling or even something that people are selling by making it more convenient or cheaper for people to get. Finally, let me give you some of the examples of things that you can sell on school to make a living. The fact is that there are so many of them that I can't exhaust in this video. Hence, I'm just going to list some of the categories of products that you can sell. You sit around it or inquire more about them and learn which particular niche that you would want. But if you like, you can just settle with these categories of things that I'm going to mention, then sell them. The first on the list is stationaries so you can consider selling any sort of stationaries to students on your campus the fact is almost every student who need a stationary in one way or the other it could be pencils it could be pens erasers books whatever personally i have sold all sorts of stationaries whilst in school i started a business out of it and now i have a stationary store because i started this particular business how I began is a story for another video. I will definitely share it soon for you to know how to start your own stationery store. So the second thing that you can consider selling are toilet fees. You can decide, obviously, when in a campus where there is accommodation for students, you can decide to sell toilet fees like soaps, like the toilet paper, anything at all concerning things that people would need for their convenience in their rooms. You can even decide to do room-to-room -room delivery of such items and hence you would make a business. This is something that people require, like every individual needs it. So if you decide to sell it, then you will make a good business. Who on this earth does not eat? Food is another thing that you can decide to sell, all kinds of food. People have their interests, so provided you know what kind of food people want or what kind of food has a lot of demand, you can decide to prepare 
end package is such that you will beat your competitors. So consider starting a food business and I'm sure that one too will be very much successful. You can also look at clothing. You know, in school, most students are the, on top of fashion, like they want to dress up well for class, for any social activity. Almost every time people are dressing up, people are buying new dresses, new clothes and things. You can make a business, a very good one out of it. Make sure that you are, as I've said, you are following the principles. You are making sure that the product you are providing is either cheaper or is faster to get or is more convenient to get than how all the other people are providing it. One other important thing that is in so much in very high demand is electronic gadgets. Name them, the computers, the mobile phones, the game consoles, the accessories, all of these things are in very high demand. In fact, you can make a whole lot of money and I know a lot of people who have started businesses around this. So you can consider selling any form of electrical gadgets to your people following the same principles of making it more convenient to get or cheaper than it is being provided already. These are just a few of the things that you can consider selling on, on your campus and make a living for yourself. In fact, you can also decide not to use these general or broad categories as I've mentioned, but you can decide to niche up. For instance, when you come to the electronic gadgets, you can decide to just go and sell mobile phones. So any of these things are allowed, whether you use the broad category of product to sell or you niche up and get to the nitty gritty within the category. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video by giving it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, don't leave this video without subscribing. Subscribe to the channel, then learn how to make a living whilst in school. Till next week, I say bye.